Hi, uh, my name is Tony Blockley. I'm the Head of Policing here at the University of Derby. Um, and welcome to our custody suite. I'm going to give you a, a tour of the custody suite and, and show you what, what it does here, but importantly, link that into the students and, and why we have it. The principal reason is, of course, that this, the policing programme is a, is a practical programme as much as it is a theoretical programme. And this custody suite allows our students to practice what they will be doing in real life. So I'll, I'll give you a tour. You can see here we've got uh, our custody desks. So these are exactly as you would see in a police station. You know, they've been designed uh, with that in mind. Uh, and the booking in process. So this is where uh, people that have been arrested will come into the custody suite and then we'll go through a series of processes in terms of checking who they are, searching them, making sure they're safe, they'll have the rights read to them, etc, etc. So that what you can see now is the, is the process of somebody being uh, searched as they come into the custody suite. So why does this take place? Uh, and, and the reasons are numerous really. One is to ensure that they don't have the, the, the person that's coming into custody doesn't have anything on them which can cause them harm or cause somebody else some harm. Uh, and also to find out if they've got any evidence hidden on them. And, and what you'll see is uh, any property that the person has is handed over, it's booked into the custody suite for safekeeping, as I say, and also to prevent any harm to themselves, etc. They'll check to see if they've got any necklaces or neck chains on, belts. Um, they'll be asked to take their laces out or take their shoes off and once they're satisfied that uh, everything has been uh, found or checked etc etc then the rest of the booking in process can take place. So as the, as the person is being uh, booked into custody uh, there will have a, a series of questions are asked of that individual um, you know there will also be a risk assessment undertaken around their, their safety and uh, any, any medical issues they may have and then at a point in time they will be asked to sign electronically uh, the document uh, that they understand and they've agreed to everything that's been said. Okay so once the person has been uh, booked into custody um, you know they've had their rights they've signed for everything then the officer will take them into a, a cell and the whole point of that is that they, they're put in a cell uh, awaiting to be interviewed or for whatever other reason. So the next stage of the process is that the suspect will be uh, brought from the, the cell by the officers into one of our interview rooms. Uh, and in the interview room, the solicitor is already present. Uh, the officers leave the suspect with the solicitor where they have a private consultation before they go into interview. So as part of the system, and the beauty of this system is that uh, each of the three interview rooms has a, a, has a download link to, the to one of the classrooms. So in essence, the students are interviewing their suspect uh, in the interview room, but the rest of the class are watching what they're doing in the, in the classroom. And that whole exercise of review and consideration and uh, feedback from the students is a really important part of their training and learning. 